Hello everybody and welcome back. I am actually just sitting here finishing up this video. It's been a little while again since I last uploaded one of these, so I deleted some now irrelevant footage from the front end which included the intro. So this is just me in current time reopening this back up so that I don't drop you into random clips. This one is pretty much all display updates, so let's roll the tapes. All right, hello, I am here. I don't have much time to dedicate to this side of things tonight, so the only thing that I have done and probably will do is I skipped down to this location and got my classic fan up. So this is the place that I had picked out for it, and I just needed to get it out of the studio, so that's the only reason I skipped over to here. So I believe when I'm back again, we will continue filling in from what I've removed over here. So that will be it for today, just getting this opened back up, and I will see you back soon. Hello, I am here tonight and have a little bit of time, so I'm just going to do whatever I can with the display. I don't really have any updates from where I left off, so we're just going to get right into these two locations. All right, so this is where I'm gonna stop with this one for now. I have glass, but I need to clean it, and I really just wanna get some stuff up tonight. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll right into the next one. all done here. I've been going a little bit to the side of typical with most of these selections, but I wanted to work in a couple more that were even more obscure. I was able to do something from the home center realm, and then this one serves as a really great transition for the theme because it's from 1989. So it is perfect as we travel back into the 80s this direction. So I have to take a little bit of a break here shortly, but I think I have time to get this one installed as well. All right, we are getting into some of the spinner territory now. Sorry, there wasn't much to film with this one. I opted to just put the blades on while it was still down. So this is one of a few spinners going up if you also include industrials in that. Definitely more to come in this category. I'm going to take my brief intermission now, and then I will probably come back and start pulling down a few more things to prepare for the next few to go up. So I don't know how much of that I'll film, but I will at least probably check in with you before I leave. All right, I have made a bit of progress getting some more areas prepped, and I couldn't resist getting just one more little thing up. As I sort of constantly remind you, it is not common that I pull out an inbox fan, but these can arms are just peak childhood for me, and I occasionally get the cravings to pull them out. If I had a used one not in original packaging, it would probably be up constantly because these are just among my very favorite industrial fans. And I've cycled through a lot of my other used industrials, so I figured it was time to do something different. I do just have it on that same existing control. It looks like the speed range is pretty good, so I will probably just keep that. This is another one that I've wanted to display really since the beginning, but again, since I had so many other options that weren't in original packaging, it made sense to cycle through a bunch of those first. So that is it for now. I'm going to wrap it up for tonight, and I will see you back soon. Hello, it has been some time since I last checked in. I was working on my videos for Quorum, and then that rolled right into cleanup week. And then I was trying to process through a bunch of those finds and spit out some of that content. And now I am back in the studio for my collaboration with Modern Forms. I'm keeping it dark and hidden back there because I don't know what order these videos are going to come out in, and I don't want to add any spoilers to this one. I'm hoping that video is already going to be out by the time you see this one, but in case it's not, I don't want to have to edit around anything. So as you've already maybe seen behind me, I got the Quorum Expo up on display. 
This is one of only a couple of updates that I've done in the meantime. Since I finished and posted the videos with these quorum fans, I need to get them up on display, so I had to pivot back down to this end. Also, in a spare few minutes, I got the Morpheus taken down and put back in its box. It is crazy how long that fan has moved around on the display, and that does leave a momentary gap for modern forms, but as I mentioned, it won't be long before something else goes up. So this location is going to become the quorum axis, which I still have hanging temporary back here. And with modern forms currently in the studio, I need to free up space, so I'm going to get this one up right now. So I don't think I'm really going to film anything here, it's really just going to be plopping this one out here once I get the mounting bracket put up. But I will go ahead and show you when I'm done, and then we might move down to the other end and do some more prep work, or maybe get something up. We'll see where the time goes. I am all done here, and then I went down to the other end and did a little bit of prep work so that I can just cruise along when I get down there. I don't have a lot of time left right now. I got done what I really needed to get done. Shortly, I will need to take a little bit of a break, and then I may or may not be back later on this evening. I need to see how a couple of other things play out, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to kill a few more minutes by getting this Solano motor down. If I can do a few other odds and ends down here, I will, and then I will see you back here at some point. Okay, I opened up a few extra minutes here I didn't think I would have, so I am getting my Codep Regency installed in this location. We're just going full classic 80s ornate fan with tulip glass, so it should be pretty quick to wrap this one up. Alright, so done here. For now I am going to step out and I will see you back at some point, hopefully soon. Hello, I am back. I have no real updates, so we are just getting right down to business today. So I guess I kind of lied. There is a little bit of an update here, but this is also precisely what I'm going to be working on. So as you can see, the Mykonos is down. I got it all put away in its original box. As I mentioned last time I was here, I was in the studio with Modern Forms. I am completely done with all of the Aura content now, so I need to get that out. So that is why we have pivoted to working in this corner. So as you can see, I have also started taking the 19th century down. This one has been up forever, so it needs to come down regardless. I will also be pulling the Sanyo down, and I believe for now this location will be eliminated. With the larger scale of this fan going in, I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything back in either of these locations. I think for sure not this one because it's just going to be too crowded. I may be able to put something else in this corner, but I want to get the aura up and see how it looks first. But before I do that, I want to pull this stuff down and get it out of the way so I can get a good idea of how it's going to look. So this here definitely will not be another largest display yet. We are losing potentially a location or two, but that is the constant evolution of the display at play. So I'm going to keep moving along here. I'll get the 19th century put back in its box, then move on to the Sanyo, and then we will go from there. Alright, I am up and running with the Aura. I love everything about this fan, so of course I love it on display. I'm still sort of undecided about this corner. I think it needs something, but I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. So for now I'm just going to sit with it for a while, and we will circle back if I come up with the perfect solution. Alright, apologies, I had to abruptly pivot to filming something else while I had a few quiet minutes. I am back now, and I want to try to get at least something else done, so I think I'm going to try to get the fan up in this location. I'm going to continue with spinners and do this Evergo that already has the light kit attached. I've done spinner in this realm before, but I think with the light kit it's a completely different vibe. So don't know how much I'll record here because it's usually easier to just put the blades on on the ground and then throw the whole thing up, but I will get started and either check with you in process or when it's done. Alright, this one is done. 
when I took down the Solano motor, I just repurposed its control over into this spot. So I get that same great speed range that I love. From here, I'll probably continue down this line and get the next few pulled down. I'm trying to decide what I have time for now. I might get the Cambridge down. I don't fully want to close this out because I may have a little bit of time tomorrow that I could squeeze in. If I don't, I'll probably just pop in from the editing desk to close this out for you. So for now, I'm just going to leave it here. If I get a lot further tonight, I can check in once more. Otherwise, I will maybe see you tomorrow or just to close out. All right, you guys, I am still here later, same night. I have decided to forge ahead because time is really not on my side. There is still a ton to get done before I can even record my National Ceiling Fan Day video. So you can see the selections I've made here for these two locations. I love how everything I've chosen has really filled out the space nicely. It doesn't always work out quite this nicely. And then coming over here, I also got this location filled in. This one is the A52 that the brass came off of and I made it chrome or polished nickel, whatever you want to call it. So as far as the core display goes, I only have these two locations left to swap out. Technically three if you count the fleet. I don't want to speak too soon, but I am hoping to have this one swapped out with another new product. Fingers crossed I can get that done in time. I just really want to make sure as much of the other stuff is set as possibly can be because I still have a ton of processing and cleaning up to do in order to navigate around the space and do my National Ceiling Fan Day video. I need to be able to get everywhere without running into things and knocking things over. So I'm still going to drop it off here and see if maybe I can get these last two fans swapped out tomorrow. If not, I will just pop in and close this out. I really want to get into the pre-production for my next product spotlight, so I'm just going to see where time takes me. So I will see you when I see you. Okay, I am back and attempting to wrap this up. I am working on getting the Zephyr down, and I was just realizing with this one coming down, this will be the least Casablanca I think I've ever had on display. And personally speaking, I don't even really count the airflow. I definitely feel it's more in the homestead realm. So as of today, there really won't be any true Casablanca on display for this cycle. That may still change because there's still stuff to do around the perimeter and whatnot, but I just wanted to acknowledge it because I remember in very early display videos, I was always struggling with being very Casablanca heavy, and this time I'm not even close to having that problem. So I will finish up here and then start getting the replacement up. Here it is, my Hunter Comfort Breeze. This is another one that I've wanted to display for quite some time, but I never trusted the integrity of the flywheel. So now that it has a replacement, it was time for it to go up. Now I will move on to getting the Santa Cruz down. Okay, I'm trying to find a spot that isn't entirely backlit, but here is the final edition for now. This strange Union Emperor styled thing. This is one I've specifically tried to fit in a couple of times, but it hangs just a bit low, so there are only a few places that I can really hang it. I could do some temporary modifications or remove the light kit, but I really wanted to hang it as the full ensemble. Appearance-wise, it's one of my best Emperor-styled fans, so that's kind of been my driving force for displaying it. The bearings have a bit of chatter and are not ideal, but I'm willing to overlook it in this circumstance. And to be frank, if something is in good physical condition, noisy bearings usually don't stop me from using it, at least for purposes of this display. So now I am finally going to close this one out and get it uploaded. Thank you to the hardcore fans for your patience. It was not supposed to take this long for this one to come out. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell before you leave to get updates for all of my new videos. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you next time.